Hello, welcome back to Cracking the Cryptic in this festive period now, very nearly at Christmas. And uh, well, if that hasn't inspired the choice of this puzzle particularly, but I note that it is by Die Hard. And um, I also note that it is questioned regularly whether Die Hard counts as a Christmas movie, in which case it would often be people's favourite Christmas movie. And I know that there have been long essays written, including recently, about whether or not Die Hard is a Christmas movie. I think generally it qualifies uh, that it is, but uh, you can give me your own opinion if you want. I don't mind at all. Um, anyway, Die, Die Hard is just the name of the constructor. It's not relevant to this puzzle. We will be having a look at this in a moment. I will just canter through what you can find in the description field where there are links to the Discord server associated with the channel, to the catalogue of all our puzzles, to our apps, which are fantastic handcrafted Sudoku in various types that you can buy, to our Patreon, where you could join us for two or three dollars a month. Simon's videos of... Um, well, Simon solving the Snack Doku 4x400 puzzle set is a forthcoming attraction. Um, and our merchandise is there and Spencer Doku pad. But the first link is to this puzzle, Ménage à Trois. That's just the net, and that just means three people living together after all. So, what are the rules of this puzzle? Normal Sudoku rules apply. So we'll be putting one to nine in every row, every column, and every three by three box. Digits must not repeat on the marked diagonal. There's only one of those. That is a set of the digits one to nine, perfectly described by, by my cursor. Um, digits in cages must sum to the cage total. So those two add up to 10, for instance. And here we go with the gray lines. Each n sum line can be divided into two or more non-overlapping groups of adjacent digits that sum to n. No two line. I was going to wonder if we were going to get a rule that said n may be different for different lines. We get the total opposite. No two lines have the same value for n. So I might need some little or theoretical chess piece to, I don't know what the chess piece for unique would be. Uh, something is going to have to remind me at some point in this puzzle that these lines have unique values of n. So it's like 10 lines, but we don't know how many segments they divide up into or what that n is for each line just that they're all different i mean that's fascinating give it a try if you fancy it on the link under the video i am going to restart my clock and say let's get cracking with with a 16 cage two of them they contain nine and seven and that done i don't see any other cages where i can just fill in oh nine and seven are both on the diagonal that's interesting. We could colour those against each other and these cells too, but I'm not going to do that in case we need colours for the line segments or something. I might do it later. We'll see. Now, I've been putting this off, but I'm going to be thinking about these eight cell lines next. Right, I'm sure that you know the secret, and if you don't, I'm going to share it with you now. Every row, which is a particular instance that I care about at the moment, but also every column and every three by three box in a Sudoku always adds up to the same number. And we know the number. It is 45. So actually, even the diagonal does here because it's the digits one to nine and they sum to 45. Now, that means that these digits are the kind of residue of 45 once that has been used, or once part of 45 has been used to divide these lines up. Okay, I'm gonna consider what those residues can be, because there are a couple I can see can't be. So I'm just going crazy writing every digit into these cells and then thinking about them. Because first of all, two is not an available candidate here. Because these cell, the, the line would then have to add up to 43. 43 is a prime number. You cannot divide it down into more than one group. So no, no two, no four, because that would make 41 on the line. Um, I suppose five is okay, that would leave 40. Six would leave 39. Oh, that rather petered out. I can take out eight, because again, 37 is a prime number. 
but basically any composite number is okay here because we might just divide it into a pair of bits. Okay though, well hang on because this line, yeah this line's going to have to have an even number. That's weird but it's true. You can't make up Right, for every three cell line in this puzzle, I now see there are a lot of them. There are seven three cell lines in this puzzle and four eight cell lines, that's all there are. But for every three cell line in this puzzle, it must divide up into a total and a pair of digits that add up to that total because, um, because, that is right, yeah, because for the line to divide up, there must be a one cell segment. The other two will have to be this. Now in theory, you could have a three cell line running between those cells, which divided, divided up into three segments of all the same, but none of these lines fulfill the criteria of all being in different boxes. So that's not happening here. And therefore, this line can't be made up of three odd numbers because odd plus odd does not equal odd. That is a mathematical fact or a knowledge bomb from cracking the cryptic. Um, and therefore we need an even number on this line. That even number is six. This cell is not a six and is definitely odd. This is either one, well it doesn't, uh, no, there's lots of possibilities. One, five, six, one, six, seven, or three, six, nine. That's a shame. But, okay, what about this line? This line doesn't have a 6 or a 7 or a 9. It's made up from 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 or 8. It is not... Okay, again, this line must have at least one even number. Now, there is a possibility for these three uh, digits to all have the same parity, and that's if it was 2 plus 4 equals 6. That possibility is gone since 6 appears down here. You can't make this up of three even numbers because they would be 2, 4 and 8, and two of those don't add up to the other. Therefore, on this line, there is one even and two odds. On this line, there is one even and two odds. And this is odd as well. And that's all five odds in the... Is this a parity colouring puzzle? I mean, I'll start it off as though it is. Anyway, there's one even here, one even here. The other two evens are both there. And now this line has to be triple even. You can't have just one odd on the line. So, so, these digits are from 2, 4, and 8. This digit, well, it, uh, if that is the high end of the line, the circle of the arrow, if you will, then it's got to be 8, because we can't go 4, 2, 2. And if it's 8, that must go 2, 6. Now, if this is the high end of the line, the circle end of the line, that is a 2-4 pair, and this is 6 again. I love that. That has to be 6 either way. That is freaky. There's a 6 down here. So now there's a 6 in one of these cells. Yeah, it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't really help on that line, but it may do later. Oh, that's weird. That is 6... Definitely either way around. I mean, I must be able to take out one of the digits here. Because although that can be a 2-4 pair if that's the high end. Yeah, this can never be 8. There it is. That took me ages to figure out. Um, now, 8 up here would make this a 3-5-8 line. Okay, I can say that that cell can't be 8 in the middle there can never have the highest digit in the middle of these three cell lines, so that can't be nine. Oh, this can't be seven or nine by Sudoku from here. Right. Now, one of the... Oh, no, I was going to say one of these is a three, but we absolutely don't know that. No, one of these is a six. That's much more interesting. That's actually, I think, where my brain was headed. One of these is a six, and therefore the, its line splits into 39. Well, sorry, its line totals 39 and splits necessarily into... Well, it can't split into 13 groups of 3, so it must split into 3 groups of 13. Now, if that's this line, 
this end of the line can't get done before it reaches the 16 cage and it can't take in the whole 16 cage. So if that's a six, this pair adds up to 13. And if that's a six, this can't be a six. So it would start four, nine, and that would be a seven. And then, then there'd be a, oh, that doesn't work. Yes, it does. There'd be a pair adding to six. It would go four, nine, seven, one, five pair, and then two, three, eight, and that would be the six. Okay. Now, I doubt that I can rule out six from the other ones, but let's just have a little think about it. Six, and then you have 13, 13, 13. Well, those can't both be in the same 13 sum. So there'd be one, oh, there'd be a four cell 13 sum, one side of this. 15 or the other yeah i mean that that and then two two cell 13 sums the other sides and 13 could be those two cells if that was a seven yeah i mean they could be eight five or nine four okay i've got nothing i don't know which is the six that's a shame what do we do next i think i've Kind of done some very interesting thinking but i may have kind of finished on what i understand about the puzzle we're gonna to have to think of something else bother um okay what are the other or well nine would leave 36 which is a very composite number it can be made up in a lot of ways oh we Okay, if if there is not a nine, ah, where can nine be in this column? It's now not available in those cells. Yeah, okay, so one of these is a nine, and one of these lines therefore does add up to 36. Those two can't be a nine by virtue of that cage and nine not being able to be in the middle of the line. So one of these is a nine. Now, can it be here? That seems to be the more constrained. 36 could be, it, it's got to contain an eight somewhere. So each N must have a total that is higher than seven. So it could be four sets of nine in two cells each, but that won't work for this cage but it could be three sets of 12 or two sets of 18. 18 won't work because you can't make 18 in those two cells and you can't include it the whole 20 cage. So 12 probably would work. That would be an eight they would add up to 12 by being, well, not with a nut, by being 5, 7. Now, bother, it does work. That was close, though. Okay, I'm going to at least have a look along this line. If that is a 9, then can you have four sets of 9 here? I think it's quite easy. One eight, two seven, and that ten cage is made up. Yeah, I don't, I don't see that being helpful. Oh, uh, blow. Okay. Um, now, whichever of these is not a nine, the nine still has to appear somewhere. So this one is leaving these possible remainders leave this to add up to 39 and we kind of worked out how that would start four nine seven something seven one five and two three eight if this was a three these add up to 42 given that we need an eight in one of them that would be three sets of 14 that would be how it would have to be done and this would have to start five nine. It couldn't start seven seven. 
If it was a five, these add up to 40, and we've got to get a nine in, so oh, it could be four sets of 10. Oh, that's, there's so many possibilities. Okay, I'm missing something here. What's going on that I'm not understanding? Well, there's a sort of ropey-like thing. One of these digits is ob and is seven or nine in the 15 cage and appears there. So then it's going to have to be in one of these cells. This is more sudoku -y than than to do with the lines. There's something going on. Okay, I need to think this through. Or maybe think about this 20 cage and what this can be. Yeah, that the 20 cage seems quite restrictive. So we worked out a way of doing it if this was a nine, this end. And then this would be nine, three, six. Oh, maybe that's what we think about. So if that's a nine, this is a three, six pair. That would have to be three leaving 42 here or six leaving 39. Now, if this is a nine then, then this line is either three sets of 12 or two of 18. And if it's three sets of 12, that's an eight. And that's a seven five pair. Then you've got five seven nine six three. These are one, two, four, and eight. I can't see a problem with that. Oh, this is gonna take a lot of thinking about. That is either three eight or five six, that eleven cage. This hmm dunno. Maybe there's another parity consider. Oh, the fact that these can't be seven or nine, that doesn't feel very interesting. No, I don't think that's it. Maybe the fact that these can't be seven or nine. So, I don't know, one, three, five, and six. The trouble is, With a one, you could have four sets of 11. Or maybe we need to think about what the ends are. Oh, yes, okay. So how many small lines have we got? One, two, three. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, why haven't I thought about this? We've got seven small lines. What are the totals on those lines? What are the circle digits, if we imagine them as circles? Well, they're all different. They are 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. That's all 7. They're the only ones possible. No, that's not true, actually. Before we got a 6 into one of these positions, this line could have been 2, 1, 1. It can no longer be like that because there is a six on it. So it is definitely now true that these lines are have circles, have highest digits of nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, and three. Now, in this column, I don't know. We must have, that could be a high digit nine, say, and that could be an eight. Oh, that's on one of the lines, though. So, ooh, the three lines that are used in this column have to use three quite high digits. I, I haven't quite got to this yet. So one of the lines is three, two, one. Maybe that's how to do it. And it's not any of the lines in this column. Oh, it could be that one. One, two, three. No, it couldn't, because this needs a two on it. That's true. There's no two in that section. So this can't be one, two, three. That can't be one, two, three. That can't be one, two, three. This one can't be one, two, three, because there's a six on it. 
this one can't be one, two, three, because you couldn't make up the nine cage. So the one, two, three line is either here or here. That's weird. There's also a one, three, four line. And that can't be here for the nine cage. Oh, it could be up here. If that's one, two, three, this couldn't be one, three, four, because that digit would be at least four and is in the middle. Uh, but if that's one, two, three, that could be a four. Oh, this is strange. Yeah, there's, this is definitely how we're meant to look at this, somehow. Because these eight cell lines, they're always gonna divide into different things, aren't they? I mean, one of them could have an N of 22 and yeah, that, that, that's not so interesting. It's much more interesting for the small lines. Now, if those add up to nine, maybe that's what we, we need to think about this line. No, that doesn't do it. Oh, we're on the right track here though. So if that was a nine, then this is nine, six, three. Then this can't have an eight, that's five, four, one. And this is six, two, eight. And then the big numbers have been five, eight, nine. The big number here would have to be a six because it can't be a seven. In fact, the big number on this line is either six or eight because it must appear in one of those cells which can't have seven or nine and it's at least six. So the big number on this line is either six or eight. The big one on this, wow, it could be eight, five, or four. The big one on this is six or eight. Aha! So these two lines have big numbers of six or eight on, and therefore six and eight can't be used as the big number anywhere else. So six is not the big number here. This line, therefore, doesn't have a five on it. It is, no, yes. Yes, it's either 167 or 369. This number doesn't have an 8 on it. So it's either 541 or 431. It's definitely got a 1 on it. Now this number doesn't have a 1 on it, nor does that cell, actually. Um, so now it has to be 369. There's no room for the 7 anymore. Isn't that weird? So this is a 9 down here. This is a 3-6 pair. This is 5 or 7. It's got to be 7, which doesn't appear anywhere else in the column. That's a 7. There's no 3 in this set. It's a 1-4-5 set. And this is 2 and 8. Ah, there we go. So 8 is the big digit on this line. 6 is the big one here. This one is 1, 2, 4 or 5, as is, well, the other end of the 6 line. Oh, no, 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 no. We could have a double three situation. Oh, bother, okay. But eight is in one of those cells and one of these cells. Now, now this one, 38, has to divide into two lots of 19. So there's a 10 there to go with either a single nine. Well, actually, what's this digit? One, three, four four or nine, it can't be a five. There can't be a three either, because that would put seven here. So not that many possibilities. These add up to 10. This line is splitting into nine teams, but there seem to be several ways of doing that, using either one, two, or three cells to go with the 10. Uh, bother. Now, these lines are, I was gonna say respectively, this line is a 36 total being split up into things that include an eight. So it's either three groups of 12, well, no, two groups of 18, three groups of 12, or four groups of nine. These two lines, one of them adds up to 42 and one of them to 39. The 39 is definitely split into 13 groups, three 13 groups. which in this row, the 13 group would have to be four, two, two, or two, two, four.
four. In this row, Okay, I'm going back to considering the big digits again. We've used up nine, eight, five, and six. We haven't used up seven, four, or three as the circle digits. Now I had a fit, well this one, oh, I don't know. This can't have three or four as the big digit because then you couldn't make this cage up. Yes, this has seven as the big digit. And these ones are the three and four cage. This can't, uh, the three and four line. This one can't be one, two, three, or that would be at least a four, which would ruin this being one, three, four. So that is the one, three, four line. This is the one, two, three line. Wow, that is a four in the box. And now we've got one, three, four looking at that, which is a two. Ah, oh, this is so clever. This is now not a three by, well, by just logic, sorry. Uh, this is not a one, three, five cage because of that. So it's either one, six, two or if it was one, six, two, that would have to be seven, four, three. Interesting. Or it's a, can it be a 234 cage? Then this would be 716. Now, I think in either of those circumstances I just listed, this becomes a 5-9 pair. Let me just check this out. If this is 621, that's 743. This is 5-9. Oh, well, I, the simple way of doing that is by saying, first of all, that nine in the row can't be on that which has a biggest digit of seven, and it can't be in that, so it's in one of those, and that's not bad. The next thing is you can add up the whole row. This must add up to seven plus two digits that equal seven, so that's 14, nine there is 23, plus eight is 31. These two add up to 14, they are a nine five pair. So I didn't need to do it by the sort of case testing route. Everything else in this box is one, three, or four. Now, this line, we've got two pairs adding up to 19. So the first pair is going to include at least those four cells and maybe that one, too. The other group adding up to 19 is over this side. Now, if that added up to 19, plus nine there, 28, these would add up to 17, remembering our 45 sum. Actually, I don't think that's a problem. I thought I was coming to seven and that probably wouldn't work. Um, okay, but this is a very interesting way of getting at this puzzle. So strange as a puzzle. Right, this 20 cage doesn't have nine in. It's five, eight, seven in some, five, seven, eight in some order. And the, ah, yes, the N in this row. Well, no, the total of the line is 36. N, we decided, was either 18, 12, or 10. No, 36, I'm sorry. 18, 12, or nine. But these can't add up to nine and they can't add up to 18. So they must add up to 12. 12 is the N in this row. And there's one set. The next set starts with an eight here and is either a one, three pair or a single four. And there's a third set that must include those digits adding up, well, Let's give those a colour as well. And then that can share the colour because we don't know which that's in. Now, this has become a 6-9 cage because of that 8. And that means this is a 3. There we go. We've got these sorted out finally. Oh, that's bonkers. Right. This is the row where we add up to 39, which is three groups of 13. And we must start with 4-9. Now, okay, I'm going to colour those orange and this one not orange. That one can be dark green. 
And actually, that might help with... I don't know, I'm going mad up there. I mean, this is... I was colouring against the seven nines. Well, let's not forget the diagonal, which I've just noticed has taken seven out of that cell, although the fact that the circle is at one end could have done that anyway. Never mind. I can actually fill in the numbers. Why am I colouring? Why? Tell me why I'm mad. That's a nine. That's a seven. I know. You don't know why I'm mad. It just happens. Right. The seven there meant that was a nine. Now, this seven is part of a 13 sum that... Ah... Earlier, I think I said it was 715, but actually now I'm thinking it could be 7123. It can't be 7123 because that would put a 5 in this box. In fact, these have just been sold. 5793. These are from 1, 2, and 8. But the 1 has to contribute to the 7 sum to make the 13. So there's no 1 there. 2, 8 plus 3, that is one of the 13 sums. 7 plus those two, which are 1, 5, so I was right, although I didn't realise it at the time. That has become a 4 by Sudoku. We're totalling 12, so that becomes bright green. And this row is basically done. That is a naked single 2, or a hidden 2 perhaps. This is a 1, 3, 6 triple. I'm going to remember the diagonal in a moment. I didn't need to remember the unique total. It was absolutely fundamental to everything we were doing. Isn't that weird? Those can't be fours. Um, now, this row, I haven't thought about this. 42 is the total. So we're looking at three groups of 14 or two of 21. And these two cells are a one four pair. Now, I've got 8 in one of those, so I can actually split up 8 and 2. Now, the 1, 4 pair, is this going to make 14? Absolutely not. 4, 5, 12, and then you'd need a 2 next. So we must be looking at two groups of 21. 12 plus, well, it must be 9 next, because otherwise you go bust on the next go. So there we go. That's a 21. That's a 21. And this is a 6. This 258 triple, don't know much about it. Um, I've got a 1, 4 pair there, making that a 3. Now, in this 7 row, so these add up to 38. We're looking for totals of 19. And we've got 5 there. Oh, I don't know. OK, looking down here, 2, 4, 1, 3, we get a 6 at the bottom. I'm going to get rid of all these colours now down here. They're, they're just irrelevant. And actually in this palette, they make it a little harder to see what's going on. Let's get rid of all of those colours. Just leave these in. Everything else is pretty much not going to need any colouring, I think. So I'm now promised to look at the diagonal after a while. Seven and nine are already on it. Yeah, don't know where that goes. How about this nine? It's not 513, I've known that for ages. This is not 752. Oh, okay, I don't know. Let's look at this column. That is 5 or 8. We can place 7 in the column there. And there's going to be a 7 in one of these two cells. That's just useful for the Sudoku, nothing else. That is 5, 6 or 8. That can't be six, I've just noticed, from here. That can't be three, so there's not a three, three option on this uh, chevron line. It's either six at the top, one, five there, or six, sorry, that, that could be one, five, or four, two. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's going on with that. One, but, but I do now have a one, two, four, five, six, Quintuple, which was why I wanted to get three off the line. So this is now a 3-8 pair, which I could have done just by looking at this column. Uh, there's an X-wing on threes there. So three has to be in one of these two cells. Oh, I love this puzzle. This is so interesting. I still think this, this is profitable. So 10 plus 9 outside... 
I don't, I don't know how to do this. I can't work out whether that's all yellow, including that, or not. Can these add up to 19? Oh, I've got a 7 that can't go there, so that's a 7. That's just Sudoku. Uh, so there's no 7 in this group. If they add up to 19, they could be 9, 8... I don't know, I don't want to go through the possibilities. There's too many. I've got one 3 in the corners. I am going to get a 3 in the corner today. Oh, that can't be a 5, because it's the highest digit on that. Can't go in the middle of the line. Oh look, this one three has been resolved. I just never spotted it. There's no one in this cage. Ah, there we go. Well done for spotting that before me. You are a star. One or six there. One or six there. That's a seven. That's also been available for some little time. One six pair makes that a nine. which does all that now. Well, now we're adding to 14 here in a total of 19 we're aiming for. This is either two, three, or a single five. That is two or five. Six and eight must be, no, if it's a single five, that could be six or eight, okay. Jumping the gun, that four one pair has been done. This pair, Let's get rid of all of them. That's a 2-6 pair. And 6 is the high digit, so that's a 4. That's a 1. That's 5. That's 4 in the corner. Oh, that doesn't sort out my other corners. Uh, but in this row, this is 3, 5, 6, or 8. It makes up 11 with that number. That's not a 2. So that's a 5-8 pair. That's a 2. Yeah, the, the line is done effectively. Right, let's look down the diagonal again. Four, nine, seven. Ah, oh, we've got a one, six pair here. That can't be two. So that's three, five, or eight. Four, nine, three, seven, eight, one, six. This is a naked five if you count that one, six pair in the box. And the diagonal that it sees the four, that's a five. Right, that makes that an 8 on the diagonal. That makes this a 3. That makes this a 1 in the corner. I know there's another corner to go. We'll get there. That's a 2 and the diagonal's finished. That's glorious. Right, here we are in the other corner. That's 3 in the corner. That's 3 in the spot. Light losing its religion. Right, I think we're finishing off now. Six and two up there. One, five, nine across the top. Maybe we're not doing that. Oh, this row, that can't be a five anymore. So that's a two and that's a three. And that's how we make up the 19 sum. And the other one is six, eight, five over here, which starts with a five there and has a six, eight pair. The other cell in the box is a nine. The other cell in the column is a 5. Then I can do 9 and 1. Down at the bottom we get 5 and 1. This 4 and 8 is done. Uh, let's go up here. That's a 5. Finish off the cage. Finish off the row. One row to go. Hard row to hoe. And there, uh, no, one row to go down here as well. 6 and 8. Let's get rid of the colours. And that is a lovely puzzle by Die Hard. Very interesting. Still don't really know. Oh, I do know why it's a menage a trois, because these three cell lines were absolutely key to working out what could be in their households. Very interesting. Um, very clever puzzle. Great for the run up to Christmas. Do have a fabulous Christmas over the next few days. And I will see you again tomorrow. As will Simon. Bye for now. Thank you.